excited to show you what Neat and Tangled have in store for their February release. There are um, two uh, four by six stamp sets. There are, there is, sorry, um, one three by four stamp set. And then there are two standalone dies, one standalone stencil and the sequin mix as well. But let me show you all of these things in a bit more detail and show you um, some of the projects that I've made with them so far. I've got a little helper with me today. Judah wants to join in as well. Um, first of all, let me show you this one. So this is called So Many Sentiments. And I think this is gonna become such a staple in your stash because like the name of it says, there are just so many sentiments here. Um, lots of options for um, mixing and matching. Like you can put lots of these together or of course you can just have them um, one at a time. Uh, one of the cards I made with this is where I have put um, four of them here in a row and you can see how that they do kind of work together. So I've chosen out of all of these and I haven't counted, but there's lots there. Um, I've chosen these four and they do tend to, it reads, you know, reasonably well. Um, if we're talking about this card, then you can see that in the background, I have used this month's stencil. So this month's stencil is called um, Geometric Circles. And I've just popped that on the background of my card and sponged some ink over that. Um, Judah is so keen to show you how he can do it. So let me show you how easy um, that is. Do you want to come and do this? Yes. Yes? You want pink, don't you? Come and do the pink one, hey? The pink. Yeah, pink. So Judah is two and he knows how to do this. You pop it in there, don't you? And then you rub it on this. You want to go? <laughs> Good work. Can I, I'll just show if we rub it back and forth or round and round in a circle, um, how cool this stencil is. So look at that. And you can imagine, um, you know, if you did lots of different colors or um, a graded effect, so fun. So do you want to do some more of that? Yeah. I'll give you that over here. You want to go around there and do that? That'll keep him busy. <laughs> um, so that was the first uh, stamp set called So Many Sentiments. The other four by six um, stamp set is this one called Ride With Me. And uh, you can see I've used this one quite a lot already. It's got lots of cute, cute images in here. Um, the main one being this sort of uh, double tandem bike with the bear and the fox. And there are of course uh, matching dies that come with this. Um, and the dies cut out like nearly everything that's here bar uh, like the little tiny sentiment. So it even, see this tiny, tiny little bow tie here? It even cuts out the bow tie. There's a die for that as well. Um, so I have gone ahead and stamped a few of these and cut them out. Um, one thing I wanted to point out um, for you is uh, so of course it comes with the bike but it comes with a little wagon so there are different options of things that you can put in the wagon behind them there are different options of the little tiny animals you can pop in the basket there's a balloon that they can carry um, and the little bow tie of course which can go on top of um, one of the little creatures here but what I wanted to tell you about is that with the die set um, it's going to do a remarkable thing. Uh, unfortunately, the die set that we got as, as the design team was sort of the prototype. So my die set didn't do this. But when you buy this die set, you're going to get a die which cuts um, a little slit much like this. You won't need to do this because your die will do it automatically. But it will cut a little slit um, up the legs of the animals. And that way you can actually fit them on the bike so that they sit uh, like that. So that is so, so cute. And I think a really clever idea. And um, we as the design team were so happy when this little last minute change was made. Um, and you guys are gonna be so happy uh, that we did that because that's gonna make it really fun to do this, right? How super cute. Um, so that is Ride With Me, the stamp set and the matching dies as well. And I created 
um, a card here, a little bit of a different card. Um, rather than using the bike for this one, I've focused on uh, the fact that there's a little baby carriage in there and one of them which says, well, there's celebrate and there's coming soon as sentiments as well. So I am always looking for ways of making baby cards. Like I have to give out a lot of baby cards. So I've kind of done something a little bit different and made this into, um, you know, a baby shower or a congratulations, you've had a baby um, kind of card. So there's just one idea about you don't necessarily need to just use the focus image. You can do something different with your stamp set, whatever your imagination allows you to do. Um, the other uh, little mini stamp set this time around, or the 3x4, is called Small Fun, and it's so cute. It's got uh, all of the ingredients to make your s'mores and some really fun mixing and matching sentiments here. So um, it's got, thank you, it's got this one that says uh, s'more, and you can do s'more fun with you, or everything is s'more fun with you, or I love you s'more. Um, so very cute. Uh, and likewise, this comes with the dies which cut out those three main um, shapes there, but it also comes with a little mini dies to cut out the heart and the little cross uh, there as well. So very, very cute. And I have made um, a card here where I have matched um, this stamp set with one of last year's stamp sets, the Let's Get Together or the Together stamp, um, and made uh, this because I thought that was kind of cool. Let's get together and there's all the little ingredients there. And on the inside, I stamped the sentiment which says everything is small fun with you so that it makes sense. Um, so that is that one called Small Fun. And then lastly, we've got the other standalone um, uh, dies. So this one is the cover plate die. So this is geometric circles as well. Uh, and it cuts out, I've gone ahead and cut one out for you already. Um, and it cuts out a shape much like this. Let me grab something, sorry, black so, or darker so you can see how cool that is. So you can imagine um, using that as the cover or, or the background um, of a card and maybe pop in a central image here. Or I always imagine like something big and bold um, with this, uh, like you could do a white on white. That's always very classic. Anyway, again, so many possibilities with this. And a cover plate die, I think, you need to have at least one in your stash because they can just make, um, if you've otherwise got a plain background, uh, just to give it an extra element of um, texture, dimension, and interest. So, so fun. Now you have to see what Judah is doing with this last standalone die. Um, I don't think I can pop the camera up so that you can see him. Judah, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, anyway, it's called the Panda Die and it cuts out, oh my gosh. I Let's see, lie back there, show them what you're doing. <laughs> He's using the Panda Die as a mask. Is it like that? Okay. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Anyway, that's not what it's for, but maybe you can make a mask out of it. Um, so this panda die is really interesting because it doesn't quite do what you would classically imagine. It doesn't cut out um, the head. Can I just have this for a sec? But what it does do is it cuts out, sorry, I cut this one off my sheet because I didn't quite plan it properly, but it cuts out just the holes, if you like, so the eyes and the ears and the little nose piece there. Um, and so what I definitely imagine doing with this die is making like a shaker card kind of deal um, and filling up the uh, space behind the eyes with um, the sequin. And of course, the sequin mix for this month would be perfect. So this sequin mix is called Coffee and Cream. Um, and it's got these lovely shades of uh, brown and a beige and a white um, sequin in your different mixer sizes as well. So that would be really fun um, to make like a shaker card. Uh, what I have done though is used it in more of a classical approach. Um, and even though the die doesn't cut out the outline of the panda, um, it's, it's really easy enough to cut uh, your own sort of circle. So if you did want the actual sort of panda head, um, like I've done here, is I've just freehand cut around the outside of it. Uh, and it does leave a little bit of a tiny impression um, 
so it acts as a guide so that you can cut around it so really easy and I've made this um, tag here and I've used one of the stop doing that tutor <laughs> um, he's stamping with the ink pads it's a mess down here now um, I've used one of the sentiments from the so many sentiments stamp set uh, just to finish this tag off so really cute and so many possibilities with this one as well so this is the February release, guys. I know you are going to have lots of fun with all of these. Um, so many sentiments and s'more fun and ride with me and the stencils and the sequins and the dies. Um, I need to go and clean this mess up. Thanks for joining with me and I can't wait to see what you guys are going to make with all of these fun things. I'll see you again later.